This is Junkyard Revival. That's why we always say the proof is in the results, and that's the proof. This is our brand new hybrid mini, the HLR75. This is Junkyard Revival. Huh. We can do some kind of funny goof off, like, uh, yeah. put, uh, you know, quick draw. Practicing. And we'll do it with the... Uh, My son said this morning, he's like, make sure that you don't forget to do that when you get there. He remembered. Yeah. Somebody's got to do the hard work. Yeah, I kind of haphazardly packed everything up yesterday. Let's grab a, uh, Another one we'll of grab those. a detail spray and your stickers. Okay. I don't want Todd to get wore out before we get started, so we'll go pick him up. I don't want any excuses for lack of performance. Dude, I got you all the swag. Whoa. And I got you the Freddy shirt. Oh my God. And I got you a Freddy and Skelly sticker. You are amazing. You're okay, Todd. I don't care what Jared says about you. And I was gonna see what this smells like. Maple syrup. Mm. Head north, Not any maple. I'll, I'll tell you which way to go. You ever smelled? Not any maple I ever smelled. That doesn't smell like maple at all. <laughs> I'm not really sure not what even it a little like. bit. <laughs> not even close. Like honey with shit on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it smells like my grandma's house. I don't know what that is. Oh, work. You want me to go left here? Right. Sorry. Yeah. I figured it's why I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at the direction part. I'll just go till I run into something and we'll figure yeah. out which way to go. I can't wait to send Jared a bill for using my car for this today. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is like a big photo, this is a big film thing, and it's part of it, like it's a whole deal. Yeah. Good thing is we got this good maple shit, uh, <laughs> left, my bad. Dude. <laughs> uh, You're really I'm gonna so, own it when I wreck it. Yeah. I'm so used to driving, I don't know Straight? About it. Right. <laughs> it's like I think that you're supposed to just know what I'm thinking in my brain. I think those smell way better than that. Maybe that's what I'm getting, a mixture. This is smoky barbecue. I, I mean, can smell those. Mm -hmm. I know my way around smoky barbecue. That's maple shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you were allowed like three murders in your lifetime, yeah, yeah. and it was like excusable, and it was just common, that's what you yep. did, you were allowed to murder three people, I would waste all three of them on people that got up as soon as the oh, yeah, like thing the came stand on and, and stand up in the aisle <laughs> of the plane. Yeah. I, that's what all three of them would be on. I'd 50-50 those people and people that clap when you land. Because <laughs> yeah. usually it's the same person, normally. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I, I never understand it. Like, you realize we're not getting off here, right? So, so weird. So they'll, they'll get, as soon as it's off, they're all the way up yeah. by you, and you're like, dude, now you're just jacked yeah. everything up for everybody because yeah. you can't get your stuff down. You're standing in the aisle. Who picked that one? You didn't do any taste testing on those things before you ordered them? Nope. I actually did. We, we They gave us a bunch of samples, and it smelled pretty good. Oh, he, Hell yeah, look at him. Too envy. Oh, he's checking. He's got earmuffs on and everything. <laughs> it's a little chilly for that today. Some aggressive music for a yeah. Thursday morning. I know. Right through the guts of Gehanna. I'm kidding. Look at this guy. He's looking over like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Look here. He's dancing. Look. He's got his hands out the car. He's just having a day. Oh, man. He's feeling good. I love it. We got to go and say hi first. Yeah. We're just going in guns yeah. blazing. We'll go in. We'll go ahead and say hi. Hey, hey, hey! We've made it back. <laughs> this is uh, my friend Nick. He's with uh, Rupes. How you doing? We make the hey, nice to meet machines you. to uh, polish all the vehicles up. So we got a new one that's going to be released on November 1st that we got our hands on. So it's cordless. So we're, I was like, what a better place to show what it does than in the junkyard. All right. Yeah. So we're going to be back here messing around. Okay. Um, if you need anything, just let us know. And... We'll set it up right here in the glass. Yep. Glass zone. Yeah. Just right set up right here. Yep. 
We are back out here at Del Car Used Auto Parts in Columbus, Ohio for a special episode of Junkyard Revival with a very special guest, Nick McQueen, who has an exciting tool to talk about. This is our brand new Hybrid Mini, the HLR75. This tool operates on our hybrid platform, which means that it can run corded or cordless. And we're gonna put it to the test in cordless mode, battery powered mode today out here in this junkyard to see if we can bring some life back into some of this old faded paint. It's super easy to polish on new cars, which is why we wanted to put this highly anticipated product to the ultimate test in some of the worst possible conditions. So follow us as we get to work. Um, so when we were first setting up, setting up our little home camp, this truck is right here beside it. And we tried once upon a time, this truck is super faded. You can still see some of the wax. Abby must have wiped that part and left it on there. That definitely wasn't <laughs> up here, me. A bunch up here. Yeah, that definitely wasn't me. Maybe it was dark out. Yeah, it was probably Abby. Um, <laughs> but you can see that it was so, I mean, it was beyond wax repair. Okay, that's just over. Wax wasn't gonna bring this back. It did a little bit compared to this. So we figured the best way to put the new hybrid mini to the test was see what it would do. So just to be, so we're clear, if we were doing this whole car, we'd use a full size polisher. We're in the junkyard. We wanna show the advantages to having a cordless polisher. And we're gonna tape off a little section right here. Just see how much it'll bring this paint back to life with using a little bit of compound polish. See if we can turn it from pink back to some yeah, shade see if of we red. Get some kind of, kind of red out of it. The most important part is let me get it taped off and uh, we'll get to work. We can just kind of do this side right there. You want me to clean it? You want me to wipe it down? Yeah. Look at that, bingo, good as new. Okay, we didn't even need a polisher on this. Polisher. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it wet all the time. Yeah. You do good work, Todd. I'll tell you what, buddy, anybody that ever said, this is what been, has been the best part about Junkyard Revival, is people say, oh, you don't ever do any work. Well, I got all kinds of proof. <laughs> now, that way I'm building a case, you know what I mean? Yep. Honestly, I bet the results are gonna be better with wool. Okay, because yellow wool. this faded, I feel like microfiber might not work yellow as wool? well. Yeah. Ready? We'll do a little, a little priming first. So this is single stage. How about that? Even better. We're gonna go to four. Oh baby. Oh man, that's what we like to see. Wow. That's with one pass. Um, single stage, but one pass and it has brought it back. This right here would make Tidy, tidy so jealous. <laughs> We'll go a little slower and a little extra down pressure. Just slower with your arm speed. There you go. So what's wild is you know that's just a that's just a couple passes with uh, yellow wool pad perfect polish and you know when we first came up to the truck we had talked about off camera like you know we'll just try it and not know if it's really going to work <laughs> but this is like uh, restored to like this is ready to go to Barrett Jackson 100%. <laughs> it is pretty it is pretty wild. Um, now is there a reason uh, that you would in this particular something this bad obviously there's never gonna be anything really that this bad somebody's doing. There could be if you're talking talk about old paint. Could be, but, but probably not. The reason you would choose yellow wool, this is a question that we get yeah. a lot. Uh, 
coming to us is what pad would I use with this? You immediately went for yellow wool because of what reason? Yeah, so the reason why, in my experience and most of the time, technically and functionally, the yellow wool specifically works the best on heavy, heavy oxidation is because we're pulling off a lot of paint. Yeah. Compared to clear coat that is in pretty good shape that most detailers are working on where we're not removing nearly as much material. So if you use a, a pad that had shorter fibers, it would load up really, really quickly. And obviously, if you look at this, yeah. it loaded up fast and we can see the color, so we really know that it did. But because these fibers are so long, it can hold a lot of material before it starts to clog up and the performance drops. Yeah. So if you were to use blue wool, or even one of probably our blue or yellow microfiber, they don't have as long of fibers. Right. They probably would work well, but in my experience, single stage either, works better with this particular And you may pad. need like a couple pads. Yeah. Because this is, uh, yeah. you can tell just by visually looking at it, it's got much longer fibers yes. as to where the, the uh, microfiber one will clog up fast. You know, this is the reason we do this show. I mean, this is the reason we started it originally is Sign because we up. wanted to see like what, what it would actually do. The first time we ever came out here, we didn't know uh, if super citrus would cut through some of the worst stuff that we've seen out here. And that's why we're always uh, left like, we're yeah. like, oh man, it's crazy. Uh, we'll take it off. But this is just uh, one pass. You've seen it with uh, the wool pad and a tool that you can use in the middle of a junkyard <laughs> and not have any power. And it still has a, the same power as the corded version. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can't tell any difference. Obviously, it's a little different makeup of the way you hold it, but the results, that's why we always say the proof is in the results, and that's the proof.